The Senate runoff race between GOP incumbent David Perdue and Democratic challenger John Ossoff is certainly heating up. Um, and nothing makes that clearer than the fact that Perdue is running away from the possibility of a second debate with Ossoff. Now, if you remember how Perdue performed in the first debate, you can understand why he would want to run away. But Ossoff did call him out saying, looks like Senator David Perdue is too much of a coward to debate me again. Purdue can't defend his lies about COVID-19, self-dealing, stock trades, his bigotry, or his votes to take away Georgians' health care. And so what is likely to happen now that Ossoff has agreed to a second debate, but Purdue has run away from it? Well, the Atlanta Press Club said the debate will continue on Sunday, December 6th from 5 to 6 p.m. with Purdue represented by an empty podium. And I would argue that's more embarrassing than how Purdue handled the debate, the very first debate. And for those of you who might have forgotten how that went down, this is what it looked like. Well, perhaps Senator Purdue would have been able to respond properly to the COVID-19 pandemic if you hadn't been fending off multiple federal investigations for insider trading. It's not just that you're a crook, Senator. It's that you're attacking the health of the people that you represent. You did say COVID-19 was no deadlier than the flu. You did say there would be no significant uptick in cases. All the while you were looking after your own assets and your own portfolio. And you did vote four times to end protections for pre-existing conditions, four times. And the legislation that you tout, the Protect Act, it includes loopholes that specifically allow insurance companies to deny policies to Georgians with pre-existing conditions. Can you look down the camera and tell the people of this state why you voted four times to allow insurance companies to deny us health coverage because we may suffer from diabetes or heart disease or asthma or have cancer in remission? So I guess you can kind of understand why Purdue doesn't want to go through that situation again. So there's two different issues at hand here. One is about the race itself. And so, um, first of all, fun um, hashtag trending on Twitter. It's hashtag Purdue chicken, because um, he's running from the debate. <laughs> uh, so uh, secondly, I thought Republicans said that they were for alpha males. And all of a sudden, we've got a bona fide coward here. After Ossoff on Mandem in that debate, he immediately afterwards like, I'm not debating again. And so he canceled the last debate before the runoff. Now he's canceled the second debate in a row. And I thought Republicans said they were for the battlefield of ideas. So if you run from the battlefield of ideas, I think it's fair to call you a weakling and a coward. Now, maybe he had bone spurs, I don't know. We'll have to look into that. Uh, so now there's a second issue as well, guys, which is what Trump is doing to the Georgia runoffs. Because he is holding them hostage. He's saying, unless you agree with me that you should attack your own governor and your most importantly, your Secretary of State who's in charge of counting the votes, that we are both very, very right wing Republicans. In fact, Secretary of State proudly says he's MAGA, right? He says, unless you call for him to get fired, I'm gonna do mean tweets about you and make sure that you can't get the Republican vote out in Georgia. That's not against the other party. Donald Trump is now holding his own party hostage. And so what did Purdue do? Well, we already know he's a coward. So he immediately gave in to Trump and he called for the firing of the Republican Secretary of State of Georgia. And, and so the, the problem is they miscalculated. Like they're used to fighting Democrats like Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, who immediately would bow their heads and apologize for things they didn't do. But in this case, the Secretary of State is a Republican. So he's like, no, you guys are liars and I'll show you how you're liars. And one thing he did today was he outed Lindsey Graham. He said, no, no, not that way. Um, <laughs> so he outed him by saying he told me that I should uh, inquiring whether I could cast out legal votes as well. Now that can get Lindsey Graham in a lot of trouble. So he's saying, hey, if you guys want to fight, we can fight. 
So now the Republican Party in Georgia is in an unbelievable mess because of what Donald Trump is doing behind the scenes and because cowards like David Perdue can't stand up to him. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.